so hi everyone i recently got a question on one of my youtube videos around google collapse free gpu that is nvidia t4 uh, what are its capabilities folks were trying to understand how for what use cases they can use it so in the short video i'm trying to explain you its capability how it is compared with other gpus in the market like 4090 or h100 if you have heard of and for what use cases you can use this so first of all i will try to explain you how you can start the t4 session so you first of all need to go to google collab on the top right you need to go to change runtime session and here t4 gpu is present for you so for example if you lock in cpu you're not using a gpu in that case this particular command nvidia smi won't work for you do remember this so let me try running this and it should throw an error command not found right so and if you change it back to t4 this command will start working so this is the way how you can check whether you are able to access the free gpu or not this might take some time to connect as you can see here. So T4 GPU that is provided by Google Collab is quite good to be honest as it is for free. Do remember this uh, GPUs are very expensive and if you are getting a service free of cost to use it for a few hours also I think that's great. Uh, so you should make the most out of it. Now you can see that nvidia-smi command is running. That means that your GPU has been enabled. Now we will talk about T4's capabilities and how it compares with other GPUs in short. So what is Google Colab? We already know it. Yeah, it's a cloud-based AI lab. Runs Python notebooks in your browser. So you can run Jupyter notebooks. And no credit cards are required. You just need to log in and comes with NVIDIA T4 GPU for free. So what are the capabilities of NVIDIA T4 GPU? It is optimized for inference and experimentation. Do remember this. It, is, it can be used for fine tuning small LLMs like BERT, Whisper and LLM of like 0.6 billion like Quen3 has come. That can be fine tuned on it. Uh, good for training CNNs, transformers, basic models, GANs, very small models because I tried training GANs also, CNNs also, you can train them well on the free T, uh, T4 GPU and basic LLM inferencing it should be fine. I think you can inference an LLM about like a 7 billion model, you may be able to inference and it performs best with mixed precision that is floating point 16. So once you load a model, you should not load the model in full precision. There's an option. I think I will be explaining you that too in upcoming videos. So there are certain limitations with this particular GPU. You need to know them beforehand uh, when you're using Google Colab that the session time is 12 hours. It is maximum. It can get dis uh, disconnected before that. Idle time is 90 minutes. This is also maximum. So your session may get disconnected before 90 minutes also if you leave it alone. So if you enable GPU and don't use it, your session may get timed out very soon and the maximum you can use is 12 hours. At times this may get disconnected before that too. So these are certain limitations of free stuff that you get. The RAM, the particular size of the GPU that we get is 12 to 25 GB. That is huge. 12 GB GPU. I think it's great and you should be able to run the small LMs quite easily. 12 is the... Uh, usual number that you get 25 is very rare to be honest and disk size is 100 gbs that you get so memory you get is 100 gbs to like save data and all the gpu memory that you get is about 12 to 25 12 is the like 99 percent of the time you would be getting 12 gb gpu apart from that this is how it compares with other gpus so i am comparing it with t4 with 4090 rtx and h100 so as a metaphor use it is taken as a basic toyota car it can do your basic gpu stuff if there is a library that requires gpu i think you should be able to run it with t4 every day basic stuff when you talk about rtx 4090 it is more of a lambo 
it's it's expensive also and it's more for more premium use cases like programming or training models and h100 is the best i think it's a rocket more for enterprise and very very expensive also so comparing t4 cost to h100 i think it would be about 25 to 30 times more than uh, t4 so h100 is that costly and t4 is given to you for free on google collab so these are the few features that i wish to talk about the google collab free gpu that is nvidia t4 good for inferencing of llms or training basic models not good for like training a huge llm like or even inferencing as a part of as a matter of fact you might not be able to load a llm of greater than 10 billion i am quite sure uh there are limitations with times also you can't use it forever they it'll, your session will get broken up uh apart from that comparing it with other state-of-the-art uh, gpus it stands no chance being being very honest it's just not in that range only but to be honest it's free right gpus are very costly once you get something for free uh we should look at the better things of it right so for daily ai i think it's quite good to be very very honest till like six months back i was uh, developing all the AI solutions that you saw on the channel using Google Colab only. I didn't have a GPU. Now I have it. So it is that capable that it was able to help me run an entire YouTube channel. So with this, we'll wrap this up. I hope you try out the free Google Colab T4 GPU. Everyone has it. Uh, uh, everyone can have access to it for free. You are not restricted. So do try it out. Never say that I don't have a GPU. You always have Google Colab. Thank you so much.